Please welcome on stage Silvio Sandrone, Vice President Advanced Projects and Products from Airbus, and Munya Chivasa, Head of Accelerator from Merck Innovation Center in Darmstadt, Germany. So thank you very much. We uh, are very happy to be uh, introducing to you the, uh, the finalist and the winner of the uh, Airbus Max Sustainable Exploration Challenge. The response was really immense, both in size, in diversity, and in the originality of the proposal. It's been a really hard job to uh, pick up the, uh, the three finalists um, among ideas for new energy systems, propulsion, automation, recycling methods, everything again with this light motif of closing the loop. The first finalist of the three world tonight today is the FANAC team. So the idea is about a plant-based ecosystem. So um, the FANAC team, we think, is going a step further than known concept for greenhouses and space by using plants not just for oxygen production, but also for medicinal purposes, well-being and social fibers. And absolutely, I'll go to the next uh, finalist, actually. So our next finalist is Delox. Uh, Delox is, is a great, great team. Uh, they're coming up, they've come up with a, with a novel uh, dry hydrogen peroxide technology for sterilization in closed habitats. And uh, Merck has an immense uh, expertise in developing antimicrobial solutions uh, for coatings. Uh, but we also work in electronic materials. And we know how difficult it is to to, 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 to sterilize um, uh, electronic materials with the current technologies that are out there. So they're very harsh and can really be disruptive. But DLOX have come up with a way that is softer but very effective. And our third finalist um, is, is, a, is, is a solar sail company, a solar sail company called Golden Fleece. And they tackle a really, a really important and vital um, area in, in space exploration, um, but it's also very relevant to, to terrestrial uh, applications. So um, we like them particularly because they're really utilizing additive manufacturing, uh, they're looking at stretchable electronics, uh, they're leveraging their partnerships with people who are working in great coatings as, a, as well as organic photovoltaic materials. And we also like them because it's a sale. I mean, uh, they put it very well. Uh, Europeans, once explorer, always explorers. Uh, we see that we, in our partnership, can really bring uh, the winning team much closer to, to getting to the next level. And we'll provide support through our coordinated accelerator programs, um, as well as, uh, as, as leveraging the expertise within both companies. And the winner of the Merck and the Airbus Sustainable Exploration Prize is... Is... Golden Fleece! <laughs> and Andrei Mostrici, together with Andreas Butte and uh, Premishmo Mazurek from the project partner Amapox. And I asked myself, Matthias, uh, perhaps um, could sunsurfing to Mars become a new sports discipline? Uh, the surfing uh, may be sailing, yes. Do you have a, do you have a sailing boat? Yes. Uh, so people use sailing boats for leisure, but they also use sailing boats for work. So uh, we hope with this uh, idea, we hope to bring uh, people to get really uh, space sailing. So get those uh, hardware closer to the people so they can leisure, but they can also work very efficiently. And so that it, it would enable us uh, the Polynesian uh, model of, uh, is, uh, of space exploration when you actually go from one place to another, you settle down there and you go, you, you build your hardware there. So I hope it's going to work. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much.